Do you have a low-end PC that does not support Windows 11? I have a fix for you. Tiny 11 is what you need. Check out the specs comparison on your screen. Tiny 11 is stable and it also supports regular Windows updates. Harbor of Tech. Rethink Revisit Recreate. Let's install it. First, we create a bootable USB with Rufus. Insert your USB and then select the Tiny 11 ISO, and click Start. Your bootable USB will be ready in a couple of minutes. So as the bootable USB is done, we boot from it and install it on our PC. I recommend you to try dual booting first before completely switching to Tiny 11. One thing to note. Do not re-upload my ISO anywhere on the internet. If you want to make a review video, you can. Just link my YouTube channel or website as credits. Now that the bootable USB is made, let us boot from it and test the build. It will show Windows 10 logo only at the installer. After Tiny 11 is installed, it will show the normal Windows 11 logo and boot animation. When the installation starts, it will ask you for a product key. If you have one, enter it. You can always skip it or enter the key later. There are two versions. One with Defender. Choose the one which you want. I don't want Defender. So I go for the first. When choosing the partition, do it carefully as you may lose your data if you choose wrong partition here. Continue till the end of the video if you are unsure. I have a link to my Discord server in the description. There I can help you out with any problem you face. Please do not ask me for links to activator scripts. I don't support piracy and hence I won't help you to crack windows. I have skipped some parts so that the video doesn't become too long. When the installation is done, you should read the readme file on the desktop. Then go to this PC and compress your C drive. It will take some time depending on the specs of your PC. I have skipped it to save time. After the compression is finished, then run the other compressor on the desktop. It is a special compressor that will drastically reduce the Windows footprint and increase performance by huge margins. Make sure you run it as administrator. Else, it might not work as intended. Now let us see the final installation size. This is going to blow your mind. Windows 11 with only 4 GB of hard drive space. This is the world's smallest build so far. Now that it is installed, let's fix some things so that you can use it as your daily OS. Go to the USB you installed Windows from. There, go to the Extras folder. You can disable Windows updates if they annoy you. You would need a browser to browse the web. I don't like Edge, so I use Firefox. I have put a driver pack inside, using which you can install all the latest or missing drivers. Many of you may need Microsoft Store. So let's install it. It's easy. Just click and run the installer. Microsoft Store installs in a flash. You can log into your Microsoft account and start using all features. Also a reminder, you will need to enable Windows updates if you want to use Microsoft Store. Not just on Tiny 11, but also in original Windows 11. You cannot use Store with updates disabled. Some people don't like the Windows 11 context menu. You can go back to the old Windows 10 context menu when you like. You can switch between the context menus whenever you want. If you can't find the extras folder in the USB, I will put a link to it, in my website. As mentioned before, this OS can run on hardware as low as 256 MB RAM. Let's test it. First, we need to enable paging files. For that, right click on this PC and go to properties. There, find advanced system settings. Under the performance tab, click settings, advanced and change the virtual memory. Set it to manage automatically. Do exactly as shown in the video. It will take a bit long time to boot, but it will work without errors. The performance on 256 MB RAM won't be the best, but it would be still usable as compared to Windows 11 or Windows 10 which wouldn't even boot on 256 MB RAM. Now let's take a look at the RAM usage. It doesn't even use the full 256 megabytes. It uses about 220 megabytes of RAM as all bloatware are removed and no unnecessary services are running in the background. The password to the Tiny11 ISO file is Tiny11 by HT T I N Y 1 1 
B Y H T all in small letters. Now, let's answer some frequently asked questions. Question, does Tiny11 support official Windows updates? Answer, yes, Windows updates work. Question, does it have virus? Answer, no. You can test it with antivirus if you don't trust. It is absolutely safe to use. Question, can I use this as my daily OS? Answer, yes, you can use it as daily OS. Question, can it be used for gaming and video editing? Answer, yes, both gaming and video editing works better than original Windows 11. Like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Harbor of Tech. Follow my social media and join my Discord server for 24x7 tech support. All links are in the description.